All right, guys, even here. So Nathan Diash, one of the top bodybuilders in the world, one of the top Olympians who had some problems with the law, now he has a problem with a nasty, very, very nasty eye infection. And on his Instagram story, he pretty much explained everything, why this happened, how this happened, how he's going to deal with it, is it going to affect his future competitions. So let me play this video for you guys. I came and he was asking what's going on with my eye. Um, finally took the plunge yesterday. Um, went to A&E. Uh, got basically rushed to um, the eye specialist in, uh, in Liverpool, St. Paul's. Basically, I got a very rare, rare infection um, in both my eyes. If it would have been kept any longer, I basically could have lost sight in my left eye. Um, to be honest, I didn't take note of it. I just thought, fuck it, you know, it is what it is. It'll, it will go. It always does. I didn't want to postpone anything for prep or, you know, be on any antibiotics while training. I um, get my different shows, so I kind of neglected it and it got worse and worse and worse. Uh, that being said, you know, guys, fucking don't neglect nothing, literally nothing. At the end of the day, it's just a fucking poxy ass bodybuilding show, and your health and your sight is a uh, one thing. Um, so we're on now. Cause antibiotics for a week to get the infection away. Then we've got another three course of um, antibiotics and anti-inflammatories to try and prevent this again. And then also we back into A and E sometime next week, where I will have my um, eyelids slit open and um, basically drain of the fluid and the fat that's built up inside. So now for the past. But every two hours, I'll be doing cold compressions on the eyes to try and ease it down. Um, vision is probably at 20%. Can't drive, I'm having to get lifts to the gym. But you know, it is what it is. Nothing's going to hold us back. Um, we told Matt, and we're still pushing forward, you know. Nothing's going to stop us. You know, I guess you don't need But again, thank you to everyone, you know, who's messaged me. You sent me messages regarding my eye and you know, hope I get well soon. Thank you. Uh, they will be back very shortly. I know that kind of freaked you guys out. <laughs> but you know, we'll be back to 100% soon. And again, couldn't couldn't do without your support, but thank you. And see you all soon, baby. Boom! So guys, the question I'm getting frequently asked, what did actually make me go to the hospital? Um, I was doing legs yesterday with my training partner Jenko for hamstrings um, and literally was doing vertical leg press and I passed out. Um, the pressure got to my head. I was having a banging headache, couldn't see, I was wobbling, I was dazed. Um, I shouldn't have trained but I didn't want to let him down. He was telling me just go home but you know, you know what it's like when you love training, you do whatever it takes. Um, so that was the reason why I did eventually go. Um, it took a lot for me to go, but I did go. So basically what he says is that he has a bad eye infection. If he waited for a little bit longer, he would have maybe been blind by now. It's that bad, yeah. And if I understood his Liverpool accent properly, he said that he fainted away in the gym because he was training hard. And with this kind of problem, he should have went home, but eventually he ended up in the hospital. Anyways, all we can do is hope that he recovers fast and that his law problems also go away so we can actually see him at the Mr. Olympia. I personally am a huge fan of Nathan and I predicted that he's going to maybe win the 2019 Mr. Olympia. But with this kind of issues, I don't know if he can actually make some real progress because in order to win the Mr. Olympia, he needs to make a lot of progress. He would have to come up with his size, big time, big time. He would need to get much bigger if he wants to match the top six because those guys are beasts, they're much bigger than him. So is it gonna be possible for him with these kind of problems to actually gain some real mass? I don't know, I don't think so unfortunately, but what we can do is hope for the best and we can wish Nathan speedy recovery. And this is it for this video guys, stay healthy, thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe to my channel. All the best guys, bye bye.